So I'm going to tell you about my DIY analog system. It's based on flashcards. A company called Ugmonk made a system similar to this, and this is heavily inspired by that. I'll leave a link below so you can see the video that originally informed me as to how their system works. And I realized that it would probably do really well, um, but I didn't want to commit to buying it yet. So I just made it out of flashcards and realized that's plenty for me. I would encourage you to buy the product if that looks cool to you. Um, but nonetheless, let me show you how to do it if you've got a few flashcards lying around. So the first thing you need is preferably three different colored flashcards, but you can do them all the same color. That's totally fine. Just mark them as three different types. So you've got today, next, and someday. So today is, as the name suggests, everything you want to do in that day. I would limit it to three top things that you want to do on that day and then have them at the very top. And then the rest is just extras, nice to haves. But you have to get number one, preferably all three of the top, and all the rest can be extra. Leave yourself a little bit of space at the bottom to make notes. Um, and then anything that you realize you're not gonna do on that day, but you do need to do soon, for example, that week, that month, that quarter, you can put in the next card. So that's the, dip, the next type of card that you're gonna need. Um, and then the final one is someday. So that's anything that would go in the next card, but doesn't have a date attached to it. It just needs to be done at some point, such as getting your lockdown hair cut. That's not in within my power, but hopefully it happens one day. Uh, so I would put that there. When it's time to do it, I would make sure to have it on my today list, written the night before. That's what works for me. If I've got it written down before the beginning of the morning of that day, um, that's the best time. That's the best chance I have of getting it done. So my nighttime ritual includes writing out my today card for the following day. And then in the morning, you just remind yourself of what you need to do. This is now what I use instead of the bullet journal method. And the reasons I love it so much, and I think you should try it regardless of what you use now, is because digital forms do work. So like Todoist, Notion, and whatever, they all have various different uses. For me now, this is everything that I wanna have on me when I'm doing the things. I need to have this on me all the time, which I love. I love the, how tactile it is as well. Having a list on a computer doesn't really do it for me. There's something different about writing it out as well that makes it feel extra special. Um, and looking at a list on a screen doesn't quite have the same impact for me. Also, even though things are tagged as to do today, um, they kind of roll over to the next day. So if I have something done as today on my to do app, which I still use from time to time, it has its users. Um, if I don't do it, it then becomes late, but it's, it's still there the next day, even though my today has changed. Whereas with this, for me, like when the date changes, that card is obsolete. So it comes off and I write the new date and that's it. And then I have a choice. Do I wanna carry over what was there yesterday that wasn't done, or is it no longer important? Do I need to change the way I actually set my tasks? Um, and am I prioritizing the right things? That's what I like. Whereas with the digital ones, they kind of just sit there and they're like, this was supposed to be done a day ago or a week ago or whatever. And that just doesn't really do it for me. It doesn't feel good. Whereas this, it's like every day is a fresh day, is a new card and it's gonna go by. So it kind of makes you a bit more in the moment. That's how I feel when I use it. Um, so as I say, worth giving a try. It's, it could be complementary to your existing system. It doesn't necessarily need to replace it. For me, it's just replaced the bullet journal and I still use to do on Mac. Uh, as my task manager, if I want to keep things saved, uh, probably for longer terms and more abstract projects that won't fit on here. And then when they come become relevant, they start to move on here. Notion is for more long-term projects that need extrapolation, lot of detail, obviously it's not going to be captured here. So I would think of this as just one part of your ecosystem. That's what it is for me. Um, I would recommend having a look at the original video for the company, Ugmonk, that created the analog system. Um, check it out. At very least, it will show you how theirs works. Mine works slightly differently, um, but you might want to either buy their products or start making your own. I think it's really great to do DIY when it comes to productivity systems because we see so many other people having very elaborate, intricate and involved systems, but, and we assume that that kind of will be better, but ultimately I think it's about experimentation. And the more that you can personalize an experiment with your own system, the better, the higher the chances of you kind of respecting your own ways of being and doing things and the more likely you are to find something that really works for you. So I thoroughly recommend this and uh, good luck.